And maybe you're looking to do something indoors this weekend. Forrest Hartman, our favorite film critic, joining us today to talk about the big movie being released today, Shazam. Yeah, and uh, you know, box office trackers think this is uh, going to make something uh, around $45 million, so they think it's going to have a pretty uh, decent weekend. Not too shabby. Now, this is a comic book inspired movie from the DC Universe as opposed to the Marvel Universe. Uh, correct, and it's something of a departure for the DC Universe in that one of the knocks that critics of the DC Universe have had is that, man, this is really dark. Yeah. That all of the follow ups to the Dark Knight trilogy that Christopher Nolan uh, made uh, tried to stay along that line. We're, lo we're looking at a bleak comic book world, and Shazam goes, I would say, the exact opposite direction. Really, it's probably more of a comedy than anything else. Um, it looks at a young man by the name of Billy Batson, who's 15 years old, who, through a odd set of circumstances that you learn about in the film, uh, gets superpowers. When he says the word Shazam, he becomes the superhero Shazam, who is sure. suddenly adult. <laughs> and so, again, this is going to be... Uh, for more widespread audiences, I think, than most of the DC movies, sometimes you don't want to take the younger kids to see these. This doesn't look like that's going to be necessarily a problem. Yeah, there are a few scary moments, but it's rated PG-13, and it's a pretty average PG-13 film. I mean, if your kids can handle a little bit of, of, of scary moments, uh, most of those coming when the embodiment of the seven evil sins come out, and those creatures look a little bit scary. Other than that, it's really fairly appropriate for, uh, you know, I'd say anybody 10 and above. <laughs> okay, well, it's getting great scores on Rotten Tomatoes. It's over 90 percent. What did you think of it? Well, I, I like it. I mean, I don't think it's a perfect film, sort of like I said with Dumbo last week. I think for the audience that's likely to want to see this film, they're really going to enjoy it. I don't think it's a movie that transcends genres. And what I mean by that is, if you're not a superhero movie fan, I don't think Shazam all of a sudden is going to convince you to be one. However, if you like superhero movie fans, if you like the humor that you see in, say, like the Marvel Cinematic Universe, uh, then Sh Shazam is for you. It's sort of like Big, if you remember that old Tom yeah. Hanks film, Big. It's sort of like Big, but with superheroes. <laughs> well, you got my attention. Thank you for, for us so much for coming in. We really appreciate it. Absolutely.